Hi everyone, this is Maverick Paul, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss the suggested solution for 2021 A-Levels H2 Chemistry Paper 1, Question 30. Now Question 30, rhenium is a transition element. Two properties of rhenium are given. Melting point of rhenium is 3180 degrees Celsius. Number two, the density of rhenium is 21020 kilogram per meter cube. So if rhenium is compared with calcium as a typical S-block metal, which properties are typical of a transition element? So we are given four options and we want to decide whether the melting point is typical of rhenium, a transition metal, and the density, whether it is typical of a transition metal. The topic tested in this question, of course, is under transition elements. And we do want to keep in mind, even though the question talks about rhenium and calcium, we're actually not comparing a specific transition metal versus a specific S-block metal. We're using calcium as an example of an S-block metal. So we talk about the general properties of calcium as an S-block metal. And involving rhenium, it is an example of a transition element. So we are interested in the typical or the common properties of your transition element. So essentially, this is comparing S-block metal versus transition element. I want to compare the melting point of a transition element versus uh, S-block metal. And I want to compare the density of transition element versus an S-block metal. So we generalize this and it is not specific to rhenium. Rhenium, it is just an example, all right? So if I'm comparing the melting point and the density between S-block metal and transition metal, the comparison is actually summarized here. Involving S-block metal, we will expect the melting point to be low and the transition metal melting point will be high. The reason is because involving S-block metal like calcium, it can only delocalize the electrons from the S subshell. Calcium can delocalize two electrons from the S subshell. I will have a smaller C of delocalized electrons and the charge of your metal cat ion will be a plus two charge. The metallic bond is weaker, so correspondingly, the melting point will be lower. Now, if I compare this with transition metal, transition metal will have higher melting point because in addition to delocalizing the S electrons, it can also delocalize electrons from the D subshell. It can delocalize more electrons to form more positively charged cation. And I also have a bigger C of delocalized electrons. The metallic bond for transition metal tends to be stronger and the melting point will be higher. If I look back at Rhenium. The melting point of rhenium is 3000 over degrees Celsius, which is actually a pretty high melting point. So we will take it that the first property, it is typical of a transition element because melting point for rhenium is actually very, very high. Now, how about the next one involving density? Density, we would expect the density for S-block metal to be relatively low. As compared to transition metal, they will have a higher density. The reason is because involving my S-block metal, the mass number that is smaller and the size of your S-block metal cation is bigger. So per unit volume, we can actually pack less of your S-block metal atoms. And since they are less closely packed, the density involving S-block metals will be lower. So we would expect S-block metals like calcium, potassium, and sodium to have low density. If I compare this with transition metal, transition metal will have a higher density because the mass number for transition metal atom, it is bigger. And the size of your transition metal atom is also smaller as compared to your S-block metal. So per unit volume, I can pack the transition metal atoms more closely. Since they are more closely packed, I will expect the density for transition metal to be higher. So if I look at the density for rhenium, which is a very high value, 21020 kg per meter cube. So we will expect the second property to be also typical of a transition element so coming back to the options, if rhenium is compared with calcium as a typical S-block metal, which properties are typical of a transition element? Again, we are comparing a typical S-block metal versus a typical transition element. So we would expect a transition metal to have a higher melting point than S-block metal, a transition metal to have a higher density than S-block metal. So in this case, both statements number one and number two are valid. So therefore, the answer to this question will be option D. Alright, so that was the discussion involving this question. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.